In Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper is encoded the symbols, truths, and knowledge of the secret doctrine of the ageless wisdom, proving Leonardo was not just an artistic genius, but an initiate of the secret heathen temples, primarily in the highly forbidden and jealously guarded texts of the Catholic priesthood of the Vatican Church, the Magia Jesu Christi, or the Gospel of Christ, written by the man whose true identity they not only cloaked in lies, but kept crucified to the cross in their symbology, despite him having come down from it and resurrected. A man who is singularly symbolized as having died on the cross, a half-truth oft repeated more than the whole and especially the rest, in order to betray the greatest fact and true symbol of the man, and why Leonardo never depicted the Savior as dead, for he resurrected. The greatest symbol of his life is his resurrection, and this truth cannot logically coexist in the mind at the same time as him dying on the cross, for the mind can only think at any given moment of either the resurrection or his death upon the cross, because it is an either-or for the mind and in reality, as he cannot be dead and resurrected at the same time. Such a thing naturally cancels out the other, and always in preference for the symbol. One must follow the other if we live in a world of order. The resurrection must follow the death. Both of them cannot occur at the same time, otherwise there is no order. However, the universe we live in is one of order. We do live in a world of order, though the Catholic Church would prefer it be otherwise for their own personal gain. Thus, knowing this, the Vatican Church priesthood deliberately chose to cancel out his resurrection in its symbology to keep you from seeing the resurrection as a possibility for yourself, from thinking of life post-death, which would free your mind by purifying itself of the flesh, which then allows you to claim the everlasting truth of your soul as eternal and never dying, but most importantly, to keep you from discovering the process in which our Savior achieved resurrection and doing it yourself. He was the man who did more than give the Christian church its faith in the kingdom of heaven and the resurrection, but a man who was able to do so in the first place because he was initiated in the Greco-Egyptian knowledge of the cycle of cycles, the idea that God creates and creates endlessly in a series of cycles, that this cyclical reality of God is manifested in the heavens, but also in the human which gave way to the birth of this world and you, and that, as eternal as God is, so are you. In the Bible, the so-called Jesus says, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a liberation for many. Herein, we find a glimpse of the true man behind the cloak of lies, Jehoshua ben Nazaria, of the hermetic secret principle of correspondence, that, as you loose above, so you loose on earth, or rather, as above, so below. As the universe has an electromagnetic current running through all of it, you are equally a being inside an invisible, a very real bubble of an electromagnetic field in whom exists a series of seven personal spheres. And, as all cycles are inherently circular, the man of resurrection desired to reveal to the world what is only revealed to all initiates of the heathen temples, that the world itself is spherical, and as it goes round in circles around the sun, the sun itself is spherical, and so too, clearly, the moon, and logically all the other planets, and the stars of the constellations they all pass, and beyond. And using deductive reasoning, even God himself must be a spherical being in whom we all exist, a spherical circle filled 
with consciousness. In short, the spherical consciousness of God's mind, through which, just like your brain, run electromagnetic currents, or light, the light of God, the light of the mind of God. While the Vatican was burning people at the stake for making this basic knowledge common sense, this was one of the very cornerstones of their so-called Jesus. But every pope and every initiate of the Catholic priesthood at the highest levels knew these truths and, like hypocrites, preached one thing while doing the opposite. And no one else was more bitterly and singularly judged in the New Testament than hypocrites. While these Vatican priests purported to espouse their Savior, like hypocrites, they shredded every piece of his truthful historical identity, his knowledge, his secrets, and worst, denied it all to you for their own glory, power, and pomp. The historical man at the base of the Christian faith was initiated in the truth of the heavens, as taught by the Greco-Egyptian Koinobi, which even the Bible clearly hints at, who initiated him in Egypt through the Pythagorean understanding of the cycle of cycles the Greeks called the music of the spheres, but which the so-called Jesus referred to throughout his ministry as the kingdom of heaven. And not only was he initiated in the Greek philosophy of Plato and mathematics of Pythagoras, but also the Egyptian anatomical understanding of these truths, encoded in their pyramids, obelisks, and myths, like the Emerald Tablet of Thought, but secret truths which, as an act of defiance, Leonardo encoded in his mural, The Last Supper. From the upward and downward triangles of the sacred masculine and feminine of Jesus and Mary, respectively, which together symbolize the secret hermetic principle that everything has an equal and balanced correspondence at every plane, from the human to the heavenly, or what is bound on earth is bound in heaven, and through such logic, applying this human understanding to the heavens above, you can understand God and the higher angelic planes, and represent it perfectly through the seal of Solomon, or star of David, or Hindu fourth heart chakra, or as the so-called Jesus said, to reiterate, what is bound on earth is bound in heaven, all of which represents the duality of the feminine and masculine charged human electromagnetic field. But this very duality comes to life through the figure of the feminine left side of Jesus himself and Leonardo's The Last Supper, Mary. This is not just Mary, but his mother, Mary the Virgin Mother. While the figures to the right of Jesus represent the masculine charged Father God force, the left, those of the sacred feminine Virgin Mother, which Mary, the Virgin Mother, begins. As a whole, these twelve figures flank equally imbalanced with perfect left and right correspondence to Jesus in the center, and as all things are spherical in nature, joining these two ends of the table form and produce the electromagnetic field of the true Jesus Christ in the human body, symbolized by 13 figures total, where, if we apply the hermetic secret of the correspondence of oneness. All things on the earthly plane have their equal and balanced correspondence in the heavenly plane. Jesus is Scorpio, and if Jesus has a sign attributed to him, then so do each of the others, meaning there are possibly, not as we have been told all along, twelve signs, but thirteen. And if we follow this hypothesis and apply it to the heavens, of as above, so below, or what is loosed in heaven is loosed on earth. We should reasonably see the sun traverse thirteen signs, and, lo and behold, it does. And if Jesus is Scorpio, then this figure to his feminine left side, who is Mary, his virgin mother, is Virgo, the etymology of the name itself, meaning the young, unmarried, or undefiled virgin. The full secret of the hermetic correspondence of oneness does not just say, as above, so below, but also, 
as within, so without. And as logic would show, by applying this awareness of 13 to the human body itself, there are, amazingly, 13 main joints. Each one of these joints has its own masculine or feminine charged polarity, and the one of Virgo is appropriately feminine, and as we can clearly see hinted twice in Leonardo's mural, the human anatomical correspondence to this constellational, undefiled, virgin maiden of Virgo is the left wrist. And if you were, yourself, to see with your own eyes the sun rising at dawn to observe it in Virgo, you would, yourself, see it do so from September 16th through October 30th, a whopping 45 days. The so-called Jesus Christ at the center of the Catholic Church was an initiate of the secret heathen temples who used this exact unified understanding of the oneness humans share with everything else, including the constellations, the joints, earth, the moon, sun, and all the other planets, to not only become one with God through his mind, but achieve the resurrection. An anatomical process which is not just masculine and patristic, as the evil Catholic priesthood of the Vatican and all Christian churches would have you believe as they call the Holy Spirit a He, but equally and significantly, a process dependent on the sacred feminine. As such, this feminine force of the Holy Spirit births the Jesus in us through the fathering of the Christos. Thus, in order to achieve the resurrection in yourself, in this lifetime and body, you must open yourself to the Holy Spirit as a feminine force. You must accept yourself as you are, and not as the world or society deems you to be, for clearly, they are all full of lies worth 2,000 years of deceit. You must see yourself as one with all things, and no matter who or what you are, see yourself as perfect, as embodying already, without changing, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. Indeed, when you gaze at the sun and all the stars in the heavens above, you will observe them all snake along the heavens through the zodiac of the skies, and you are not a part of them. Yet, as Jehoshua writes in his Machiachesu Christi, the Gospel of Christ, in the other world, the one within you, of your inner being, which is the kingdom of heaven, you become them. In fact, you are them. The planets snake equally through the 13 constellations above as they do in your 13 joints. The virgin maiden through which you receive the Jesus is your left wrist joint, where your hand is like a freeway of veins and nerves through which the electromagnetic currents from the heart are connected, and as above, so below, or rather what is loosed in heaven is loosed on earth. Venus is your heart. Its symbol is this, the intercrossed upward and downward triangles, the one that sends all its power of love to this wrist, the seal of Solomon, the star of David, the fourth heart chakra. God, as above, so below, as within, so without, bound in you and bound in heaven, is a mental kingdom of divine consciousness. And as you inhabit his mind, as a figment of his imagination, he inhabits you in your mind. And as you live in his splendid cosmic church of the universe, God already has a splendid palatial church as his home, your five-pointed star body. In order to make Jesus, the Son, reveal itself to you through the Christos, the Father, you must first open yourself to the powers of the Holy Spirit, the Sacred Feminine Mother, or rather, this constellation, its symbols, and its anatomical correspondence in you, which is the sign of Virgo. And if you were born between these states, you are a true Virgo, not paradoxically a Libra, or a Scorpio, which means you have not only been lied to about your true sign, but you've also been doing it all wrong, reading the wrong horoscope, 
the wrong elements, duplicity, everything. And no wonder hardly anyone believes in the stars above. Which is exactly how the Christian faith, which is no faith, for it has no such thing, would have it. And the way to impregnate yourself with the Christos, to resurrect the Jesus in you, is the sign of Scorpio. This sign of Scorpio of the Jesus exists in you. But you must first open yourself to the Holy Spirit, respecting the fact it is the sacred, feminine force of Mother. And you yourself must revert yourself back to the purity of the sacred feminine in you. Like women, men also birth the Christos in themselves, but they must equally open their wombs to the masculine God force of the Christos through the second chakra, the womb sacral chakra, to then become impregnated and then resurrect the Jesus. Even then, to see Christ, you must be Christ. To see Jesus, you must be Jesus. In the next occult secrets revealed, the sign, symbols, anatomy, and mythology of the 13 true signs the sun and planets pass will be explored. How the Catholic Church and all Christian branches are actively trying to promote a state of denial of the truth make you believers of falsehoods effectively unbelievers of truth, deniers of truth. How you have been fed nothing but lies, and if you thought you believed in the Christian God, you actually never did. The keys to the kingdom of heaven have been denied you, and for the first time ever, you are being given the keys to the kingdom of heaven, becoming a true believer of God. Curious about your true sun and moon signs of the Jesus sun, and lunar activated Christos in you. Discover the precise NASA base coordinates of your 13 planets across the 13 signs which reveal which joint and Hindu chakras are already powerfully activated in you and a full numerology breakdown. The revelations of your signs, planets, numbers, and letters synthesize one powerful inoculation against all forms of attack, whether psychic, spiritual, physical, and cures all one's ills and maladies like lack of love, health, money, joy, happiness, and purpose. Reserve your natal Christos Energy Serpent Astronomy Report now. Like any initiate, arm yourself with knowledge and bind all your spiritual forces to you through a 108-bead mala that incorporates the mystical powers of 108. The pyramid force of four, like this mala, the undefiled virgin womb of the sacred feminine Holy Spirit mala, made with 108 butterscotch ember counting beads from Tibet, a blue lace agate pendant to reflect the water of the Holy Spirit in sterling, the color of the feminine, and a carnelian guru bead to heal your second Svaristana womb sacral chakra. Think you are ready to bloom new the star in you? Join the Occult Secrets Revealed Chakra Activation and Kundalini Journey course for just $4.99 a month, through which you will gain access to the Boat of Jesus, the Keys to the Kingdom of Heaven Within, the Chakra Cleansing Master Journey, starting with the Seventh Crown Sahasrara White Violet Chakra and First Line of the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in Heaven. The secret Masonic rites and teachings born from the mouth of Thoth, or Hermes Trismegistus, and used by the same Queen Nobi priesthood of Egypt, who initiated Mary, the Virgin Mother, and her son, Jehoshua ben Azariah, known as Jesus Christ himself. Please visit AdonisianAstrology.com, the official home for Occult Secrets Revealed, and join the website for free to get access to the written content of each video up to a week or even a month before they're live on YouTube. However you can help, even by subscribing and liking, joining the channel's membership, purchasing a report or mala, or a generous super thanks, really, really goes a long, long way 
in helping this one-man production. And until next time, trust and believe that it is okay to be you, the most beautiful you there ever was, there is, and that there ever will be. Because you are not a story that can be told twice, and there will never again be a stage for you to perform, but this one, right here, right now. So be you, the most beautiful you.